I will come back again to another video lecture on Python programming and in this video lecture I'll go ahead and teach you how to calculate the mass, density and volume. Alright, so here we'll go ahead and look at how to calculate the mass, density and volume and uh, it's going to be a very interesting project so far. And uh, you can see that my entire IDE has been covered by IntelliJ and uh, it's now white and you can see everything. And uh, Let's go ahead and start immediately. I'll go ahead and uh, create a variable name of MDV. That is mass density and volume is equal to input. And let's go ahead and tell the user to choose one to calculate. Choose one to calculate. All right. So give the option of uh, M, D, and V. All right. Now... Once you give that, let's go ahead and give space so that the user can input something. Now, the next thing we need to do is we have to use an if statement to check out which of these that the user choose. Maybe the M, D, or V, that is mass, density, or volume. Let's go ahead and say if MDV, if MDV is equivalent to M, that means he or she has chosen M, then we go ahead and say D for density is equal to float we're going to use float and uh, let's go ahead and that is going to be input i'm going to say float density float density the user is expected to impute the value of the density and uh, for volume the user is also expected to impute the value so is equal to float and go ahead impute go ahead and see so let's say volume is equal to whatever the user imputes then we go ahead and uh, check out the result so let result be equal to let result be equal to d multiply v all right on the plus semicolon at the end Sorry, there is no need to put in a semicolon. This is not a uh, other programming languages, okay? So go ahead and say this is this is for mass only. Now let's go ahead and do that for uh, density. So let's say else if else if MDV is equivalent to else if MDV is equivalent to D. We go ahead and see that m is equal to m is equal to float, and um, we go ahead and say input, and uh, let's. Okay, we don't need to check mass right now. We don't need to check density. Let's go ahead and check mass. Okay, so mass, the value of mass, is uh, equal to whatever the user imputes, and. Uh, volume is equal to let's say float float input and uh, let volume be equal to volume all right so let's go ahead and uh, say that the result result is equal to mass divided by volume okay mass divided by volume and this is for this is for um density all right so that is formula for density now the next thing that remains is uh mdv if mdv is equivalent to v all right so if mdv is equivalent to v that means we go ahead and uh, choose for the mass let mass be equal to let's say float and let the float be impute so we go ahead and uh, say mass mass and uh, for the density let density be float and um, impute so we need the value of density so go ahead and say density and then the result is going to be equal to let's say result 
is equal result is equal to um that is mass divided by density and plus semicolon at the end and now what we need to do is to print out the result so print go ahead and say put that to be in two decimal places so go ahead and say um percentage point two percentage point two f because we're using flute right here percentage point two f so that modulus result okay and that will be printed out let's go ahead and run this code and uh check it out so run project and uh say choose want to calculate so go ahead and choose m and set density let the value of density be six and uh, volume let the value be eight so that is what you get and uh, if you go ahead and run this code again let's go ahead and check it out again let's choose a uh, d and the mass is 17 and volume is 9 and uh, the result is 1.89 so you can go ahead and check out other ones and uh, try to put this down on your system play around with it and in case you have any question please go ahead and use the question and the answer section and i'm going to get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much and i'm going to see you in the next video lecture